Hi, in this video I want to introduce the reasons you should choose Blender, so stay with me till the end of the video. As you know, Blender is a 3D software like Maya, Cinema 4D, Houdini and so on. But why not choose Maya? It's older and has a powerful render engine, Arnold I mean. Ok, let's start with reason number 1. Blender is fully open source and free, which means you don't have to pay anything at any time. Also, if you are a programmer, especially in the field of 3D virtualization, you can change the source code anytime. You can contribute to the Blender development process, you can even create your own version of Blender. Or if you face a problem, you can fix the code yourself, instead of waiting for the next update of the software. It's the benefit of the freedom of this software, and many programmers around the world are contributing to Blender development. Because of this, Blender is growing fast. With this open source property, you may face some problems in Blender, but they are not so serious and you can deal with them. Alright, what is the second reason? Blender has two render engines, Cycles and EV. Cycles is an offline render engine like Arnold or Octane. Offline means it takes a while to render, but it produces professional quality results. But the second render engine, which many software don't have, is a real-time engine. It means I can see the result in real-time. You can see this property in game engines like Unreal or Unity. And you can access both of the render engines in a single 3D software. Rendering system in Blender supports both CPU and GPU, but with a difference compared to a render engine like Arnold. Arnold is a very powerful render engine Maya, but when you want to render some elements like volumes on GPU, you may get an error and you should switch to CPU mode, which can be very slow, but Blender completely supports GPU rendering. Also you can choose your graphics card in Blender, while other render engines may not support, for example AMD GPUs. Let's explain the third reason. Blender is fast, when you open it up or or when you're inside the software itself. Everything is fast. It's almost 400 megabyte and uses low capacity of your system RAM when you are using it. The fourth reason. Blender is easy to use and user friendly. What does that mean? Everything is separated in this software and it's not messy. You can access each part without any tutorial. In other words, everything is straightforward and every function has a key shortcut that you can customize. For example, if you want to render section or shader section, you can easily choose it from the top instead of searching for necessary options each time, which can waste your time. Additionally, the UI is very beautiful and you can quickly interact with it. And if you have multiple monitors, you can position a specific window on each one. Also, Blender has an interesting capability. You can open a new window anywhere by dragging the corner of the window. Or in the shading tab, you can observe the effects of your materials on your surface in real time. This is an important capability. Let's explain the fifth reason. Blender is a complete pack of tools. You can find sculpting, texturing, video editing, and so on all inside it. All of these tools are professional professional or semi-professional. This doesn't mean you don't need something like ZBrush for sculpting. ZBrush is a professional sculpting software and Substance Painter is a professional texturing software. But you can create semi-professional sculptures and textures in Blender and these tools are growing rapidly. Besides that, you can find a professional hair system, particles and VFX, cloud simulation and full modeling toolkit and so on. Also, there are many free assets and plugins available for download thanks to the large community and the open source nature of Blender. The sixth reason is the learning process of this software. As I said, the Blender community is large and you can find many tutorials for it. Also, you can find great documentation on the Blender website. Choosing the best software for a specific job can be a challenge, but you need to realize which one is better for you. For example, I'm using ZBrush for sculpting, Blender for rendering, modeling and so on, and Substance Painter for texturing. It's my favorite combination. You may choose Blender for all of these works or choose another software. But I explained my experience with Blender in this video. Choosing it is up to you. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any question feel free to ask in the comments.